What is going on in my realm? Gambling of children. There's fornication. And now my teenage son, who, well, let's see, he's 22 now. My 22-year-old son is having an affair with a 61-year-old woman. What is going on? Hello and welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Crusader Kings 3, where we are attempting to form the nation of Wales. And I believe this should be the episode, if everything goes according to plan, where we do, in fact, uh, claim the title of King of Wales. Uh, I believe we're getting very close. And right now, the main thing I'm seeing uh, as Howell II, which is who I'm currently playing as, 35 years old, as he's got an unpressed claim on the Duchy of Powys. Now, I hold one of the two realms necessary for that. If I take the other one, I think think I should have enough territory to be able to claim lordship over all of Wales, but we'll see. Uh, I just went ahead and educate, uh, set up uh, educations for all three of my children, and I think things are pretty steady at the moment. We're about to get another uh, unlock of a uh, focus point for the wealth focus. Uh, we're working on financial resources right now because I have very little in the way of money. So one thing I really need more than anything. All right, we've unlocked another perk for the stewardship lifestyle. Let's see what's available. Vassal tax contribution, 10%. Monthly income while at war. Uh, extort subjects decision. Defensive measures. Oh, boy. I think we're going to go with the vassal tax contribution of 10%. We'll take that one for now. We're at point or 1.8 per turn right now. Oh, Adelbald, if you were still with me, I know you would be telling me tell me to be strong, that things will get better, and you would be right as you always were. But first, I must curse and cry. How could I not when you are gone from this world? So my friend has died, unfortunately, and it adds some stress to me. All right, we're at the place where we can once again ask our head of faith for gold. Well, we could. Now, apparently, we've lost that. Oh, there we go. Yes, please. Nice. That's very helpful. We're going to spend yeah, spend that piety to get gold. Princess Judda gained the trait pregnant. Yeah, we know. You keep having children. I kind of want you to stop. Oh, I did. Ugh. I guess be careful what you wish for. That's not the best thing in the world. We're into 917, almost 918 AD. I think financially we're probably at the place where we can go ahead and consider uh, making that claim and going to war. All right, so we're going to be declaring war on one of the Jarls here. We're going to be pressing our claim. He's got some decent allies, but none of them particularly big. Uh, the, the Earl of York, which I believe is what that is, is fairly strong. Of course, mine is not. I might have to work on some better alliances first before I do this. Let's see what we can come up with. Alright, so I have a 15-year-old daughter, and we need a spouse for her, and I'm looking at King Ethelwolf, uh, Alfred's son of Wessex, uh, who's certainly the most powerful around. Uh, now we've got to figure out who might be available. Ah, we do have an 11-year-old son, Prince Alfred. Excellent, that would be perfect. Oh, he will not accept. Oh, it's because he'd be marrying down. Okay. Uh, I need to get a little better so I'm not such a down downward marriage. Okay. All right, so we're going to try this again. This time we're going to uh, propose my six-year-old son, who's a covetous gambler. And there's a lot we could say about that. I'm really curious to know how one becomes a covetous gambler at six years old, but I think we're going to go ahead and let that go for now. He is the heir to the lordship of Furlix. Uh, we're going to propose that he marry the king's sister, who uh, this is Princess Sigrid, Alfred's daughter, uh, who is a courtier here to King Ethelwith. Um, I don't know if that's going to gain us. Oh, that will be enough to gain us the alliance with Ethelwolf. So let's go ahead and make that happen. 
excellent news. We are now allied with, you can see, Alfred, how much he controls in Wessex. And this is the guy we're about to go to war with is the Earl of York. So uh, it makes sense that we need a powerful ally like that. Now we're at the place where we can go ahead and declare war. All right, so let's go ahead. Declare war for the title. You can see the uh, military strength on its own, but obviously this is all about the allies. What's his... Okay, Alfred's got 3,300. Interesting that he's not that much more powerful than the Earl of York, but I think our combined forces ought to be able to get this done. We definitely need to call our allies, though. Let's hope he will come. Looks like he will. Excellent news. We'll call both of our allies in this case. Okay. I don't think I'm going to raise my forces quite yet. Thank you. Thank you, Wessex. Alright, let's go ahead and raise our armies. And we need to slow things down too, because... Obviously, going this speed is not a good idea with everything that's going to be happening. Oh, it's so lovely to see these large forces from Wessex coming in. Makes me feel a whole lot better about the Jarls that we may be facing. Never a bad thing when you join with your fellow Britons uh, against the Vikings to try and rid them from the, from the Isles. All right, so we're laying siege now to Mathrafal. I haven't seen any of his armies yet. He may be realizing that it's better just to sit this one out with Alfred and, or with uh, Wessex involved. So we've still got about two months left in the siege. All right, is this? Yeah, it looks like he might be sending some units now. And there's some coming from... Oh, that's a peasant revolt. Alright, we're about to win this thing. Let's see, it only puts us at plus 13%. Oh, we got a long way to go on this one. Alright, we got another... Stewardship lifestyle perk. I think this is now probably a good time to unlock War Profiteer. Bloodstained cloth, crow's feathers, strange smelling concoctions. We got another sorcery accusation. Um, yeah. We're not going to stand for that right now. Hema comes of age. My daughter is no longer a child but an adult. They grow up fast. I don't know. Do I have her promised off already no I do not let's find someone to marry her to not to my cousin no someone with the strongest alliance power that I can find but also is actually of age oh it's actually my cousin okay they are related and there's a risk of their children being inbred well there wouldn't be anything new about that when it comes to royal families would it no, nah, I don't think we're going to do that. Let's look for someone else, shall we? Prestige gain. Oh, here we go. How about an Irish noble? Excellent. Let's do that. We don't necessarily need the alliance. Congratulations. All right, well, in our latest siege, we captured Saga Stark, uh, Starkor's daughter of Harlech, uh, who's a gambler. I don't know what's going on in Wales, but we've got to talk about child gambling because this is obviously an issue that needs to be dealt with. Uh, that's good news. That'll be someone that we can actually uh, ransom later on, but we won't do it until the war is over. Now let's designate a guardian for Thomas. All right, we're at 81%, which means 
if we just maybe take one more castle, I think we'll probably have enough to end this war. King Ethelwolf captured your foe, Jarl Backseg, after the Battle of Amethwig and took him hostage. Nice job, Ethelwolf. We took the enemy leader. That makes for an easy end to this war. Let's enforce our demands. We get the Lordship of Penelin, uh, City of Mackinleth. I'm just kind of flying through these names. I know I'm not pronouncing them right. Enforce demands. To the spineless Prince Howell, may wisdom ever elude you. You are a much greater foe than I imagine. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Excellent. Now, the question becomes, with the amount of territory that I have, am I able to create the Lordship of Wales now? Uh, well, before we do that, though, we've got to deal with our Dements holdings being too high. We can ransom Saga. We'll get money for that. Okay, we can create the duchy title of Powys. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's going to cost me almost all the money that I have. But now that I've done that, I'm wondering if I actually am in position to create the duchy title of Wales. Oh, we've got to disband our armies so we stop bleeding money. So let's take a look now. I've got two principalities. How do we go about Kingdom of Wales? All right, we need seven de jour counties. We've got it. We just need 500 gold. So as soon as I've got 500 gold, I can create the title Kingdom of Wales. Excellent. All right, we've got to find a title we can grant to my son, John. Doesn't look like I can find any easily, though. How about to my younger son? All right, we can give him a recently acquired title there. That'll deal with it. It is my right and responsibility to determine what coinage is to be used throughout all of Dubarth. The choices I make will determine how the coinage and by extension my realm is seen throughout the world. 100 stewardship lifestyle experience, gain 50 gold, yeah. Let's debase the coinage. This is always a, a tricky thing. Uh, this is something that used to happen in uh, Crusader Kings too, because you could always get caught and it could end up hurting your prestige. Ah, we've got a daughter born. After an ancestor, a good Catholic name, Maria. Okay, we'll go with Maria. Let's see what issues we currently have. You can create the Kingdom of Wales. Yeah, I know that, but the problem is I don't have the money to do it. It's going to be tough to get that much gold in the near future. Oh, uh, I think we probably need to switch our focus here. We'll go with meritocracy for now, but let's go to domain focus. We've got some children who lack guardians. I'm wondering if once we get some marriages going, we can earn some money that way. We can get one daughter to be guardian to another. And my chancellor died, which is unfortunate because he was a pretty good chancellor. If I reassign my marshal, now I need a marshal. Uh, and that's my spy master. Man, every one of these guys is just good at something else. All right, that'll have to do for now. All right, so my daughter, Constance, who's 15, she's not quite ready for marriage, but she's getting really close. Uh, we've got the Duke here in Holland. That actually seems like a really good choice. I think that's what we'll go with. Let's go ahead and send that proposal. Excellent. So that's a good marriage for my daughter. Pretty happy with that. There's a lot of fighting going on in this remaining part of the t uh, Welsh territory. All right, my current contract is very restrictive. Lord Charles, I think that's my uncle, isn't it? 
Yep. And he's my spy master and vassal. Uh, so we're going to change his feudal contract. He's going to gain sanctioned war declaration. Uh, feudal contract negotiations have been blocked. I uh, guess I don't have a choice. The Snowden claim on the lordship of that territory has ended. Prince Howell no longer controls any of the claimed counties. Wait, what just happened? They just gave it... Somebody just won a war and gave it all to me. What just happened? That's fantastic news. A faction? All right, let's see what's going on with this. There must be a faction of some kind going on. We'll deal with that in just a second. Uh, let's look at myself. I'm humble, which is nice. I'm trusting. I'm lustful. I'm an intricate web weaver. I've got a really good intrigue stat. I'm a military engineer. I'm comely. And I'm one-eyed. Okay, I don't know how that happened. I must have lost an eye in battle at some point. I don't remember that happening. But uh, you can see here that there's a faction against me that we've got to deal with. So here's the faction. And their discontent is 14%. They can send an ultimatum in 18 months. Now uh, there are five members of said faction. The peasants uh, from a couple of different places. It looks like that's primarily who this is. Their military power is 130%. Hmm, that's probably not good. I'm proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult with sufficient tutelage, even a child that was displayed such literal, little natural inclination towards warfare, such as John, can come to truly understand it. It is impressive to see such skill in someone so young. All right, so let's take a look at our son. Is he married yet or is he betrothed? I can't remember. I guess not. So this is going to be an important one because this is who I'm going to play uh, if and when I die. Uh, so we want to choose wisely with who we marry here. I'm looking at prestige gain. Uh, I don't think we want to marry a Muslim. Uh, that creates all kinds of issues of its own. Another Irish match might not be the worst thing in the world. She's my cousin. I don't think we'll do that. Uh, if we marry her, yeah, I guess that would work. All right. An Irish ma marriage it is. So we're just trying to get up to that magic number of 500 so we can create uh, the Kingdom of Wales. Can lawfully imprison someone. 50-50 chance of it happening. She's a fornicator. Oh, we can't have any of that. I can imprison her without it being viewed as being a tyrant. So let's see if our 50-50 chance pays off. We got her. All right. Good for you. No fornicating in my lands. All right. So here comes a populist uprising. To the spineless Prince Howell, we will not stand for your vile oppression of the faithful S... As the Truans any longer. I don't know. All oh, these are Nor Norsemen, that's why. Uh, no, we're not going to adopt their ways. You want freedom? You shall have it in death. I have no such need of quarrelsome subjects. No, that's not going to happen. War it is. So we're dealing with a pretty substantial uprising, but I would guess they're not going to be necessarily the strongest troops. Now oh, they're excellent. He's excellent. Uh, this may not go well. I wonder if we can call allies to this. We can. Excellent. Going to need some help. Good thing I've got really powerful allies. Send the army. Oh yeah, 4,500 troops. Put down that revolt. Bye-bye, rebels. Uh, I guess we can disband our army. That's the end of that. All right, so we have an offer to ransom the prisoner. That's what I was hoping for. Gain us a little bit of finances. We're up to halfway 
to the money we need. We're gaining two per month. Hopefully we'll get some more events that'll trigger that'll allow us to do this sooner. Like this. My treasure is brimming with gold and silver. And all expenses are cared for as a wealthy lord I am expected to offer. Oh, this is a way to spend said money. Oh, no, I have other plans for the money. Yeah, send the, spend the prestige. I need the money. And another faction of popular uprisings. Hey, another son has come of age. Our son Thomas, who actually is already betrothed. This is the, the really important... Oh, this is interesting. She's a content atheist at a time when that definitely would have been a no-no. Uh, yes, we'll, we'll host a feast for you soon, son. We gained a level of fame. Excellent. What's that mean for us? We've got somebody we can imprison. Another fornicator. Boy, I don't know what's going on between the child gambling and the women fornicating in my realm. I'm just a little disappointed about what's going on right now. So uh, we've got a ransom. Why are we imprisoning a one-year-old child? Man, there are some weird things happening. <laughs> but I'll take the 50 gold. We've got a lord who can marry my son, Tutus. Who can we marry him to is the question. Let's look for prestige gain. A 45-year-old princess of Bavaria. Yes, let's do it. Not going to have any children from that marriage, but hey. Thank you for the ransom money. And now we've got somebody else in prison. Can we ransom them too? There, we've got a new alliance. We can also now demand payment. Is that my son? That's my son. Because of the hook that I had on him. So that gets us up to 378. So we're getting really close now to the money that we need. Let's just hope we can live long enough to actually spend it. Another stewardship perk available. Soon forgiven. Our monthly tyranny goes down that way. Fearful troops. I'm looking to see what's down. You can sell titles decision? Well, that's kind of interesting. All right, there's an important one. Thomas can now get married. Excellent. That'll seal that alliance, at least for the foreseeable future. We've got a task that has been finished. All right, we increased control of the county there. We're gaining 2.5, 2.6 per turn now. We're up over 400. It's only going to be a matter of months. Just a couple more years, I guess. We lost a counselor, our steward. That's kind of an important one. Yeah, we're going to move our spy master over there. Put somebody else in as a spy master. Actually, we can make my son the new spy master. Cool. Oh, boy. Gain a weak hook. That's fine. Well, there's some bad news. King Ethelwolf has died, which means the alliance no longer exists with the new king. Let's take a look and see who that is. Oh, it's King Alfred. Wait a second. Oh, King Alfred, Alfred is who I tried, Alfred's who I tried to get my daughter married off to and I couldn't make it happen or else we would have kept that alliance. But now we're going to have to look for a new strong alliance. But at this point, I've got all of Wales, so I'm feeling pretty strong in my own right. And the next step is going to be to start looking to Ireland for places to grow. Embrace God and this will be your home. All right. Some of my counselors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. How wrong they are, I expect results, yet I am often disappointed. After a long day, I'm complaining to Jutta when she interrupts me. Let me do something about it, husband. A few lessons might sharpen their wits. Uh, who can I have her give lessons to? I lose 10 stress because I am lustful. I'm going to lay with her. Okay, let's do that! 
All right, 480. We need 20 more gold, and we can create the title of Kingdom of Wales. We're being raided. Not a huge deal. Not going to worry about that too much because they move on pretty fast. New stewardship perk available. We're moving our way down toward at any cost because that selling of titles decision might actually come in handy at some point, especially as I gain more titles. Here we go. 500. Let's do it. You are now a mighty king. King of Wales. That's been the goal since we started this out, and it only took one generation. I was able to make the son of my initial ruler the king of Wales. So that's he's 50 years old, and now he's got a really nice little crown there, and so does his wife. And now we can start thinking about how we can expand into Ireland. Interesting as well that uh, we now have England, the Kingdom of England. It's not Wessex any longer. Uh, so you can see King Alfred Alfredson there. But we've got to think about what comes next for me. Uh, for example, uh, my son, Prince John, who's the heir to the Kingdom of Wales, as well as a number of other titles, I'm wondering if it's possible to grant him one of the principalities. No, it's not. He has to hold one of the counties underneath it, I guess. Oh boy, at the end of my Spymaster Tudis' latest report, he pauses for a moment. There is something you should know about your son and heir. John and Wolfhild are engaged in an illicit affair. Wolfhild's 61 years old. <laughs> what is going on in my realm? Gambling of children. There's fornication. And now my teenage son, who, well, let's see, he's 22 now. My 22-year-old son is having an affair with a 61-year-old woman. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. The very thought disturbs me. Uh, yeah. So let's take a look at our dynasty tree as it exists right now. And you can see those who are still alive. Uh, here I am, King Howell, 53 years old. I do have an uncle who's still alive. He's now Duke uh, Charles. So good for Duke Charles. Uh, let's take a look at his children. He's got a son who's 31, my cousin, who's a content villain. And apparently he also has children. He's got a son named Dennis. Uh, he's got a daughter who's actually in prison, uh, Duke Charles does, imprisoned by her father, no less. I also got an aunt who's a bold villain. Are there any good people in my uh, in my family? Are we all evil? I don't know. Um, so then we look down to my specific part of the family tree here. Uh, we've got my daughter, Hema, who actually has four children now. I have grandchildren, my oldest of whom is 13 years old. They're all Irish, of course. Uh, Princess Constance, who's my second child. I believe she's the one we married into the Dutch family. Uh, let's see, they're in Holland. And we've got a grandson who's actually heir to the Duchy of Holland. So that's excellent news. That'll be helpful moving forward. My son John has a daughter who's eight. And then right here my grandson who may be the future heir who was just born uh my son prince tudos he has no children so far is he married he is married but he doesn't have any children my son thomas who has two children as well and then my daughter maria who's a magnanimous craven okay well that's interesting all right so there you ho have the family tree so one of the things we need to look at right now is rather than looking for expansion, we, we need to be thinking about how we make our kingdom better. And one of the things we need to do is we need to start converting some of these heathen Norsemen uh, over to Catholicism. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the council and our archbishop. I think that's probably who we have to do that with, through. Convert faith in the county, and you can see the counties where that's an issue. Uh, so we're going to start with the furthest south and kind of work our way from there. I don't know how long this will take. Okay, I guess it's a 1 to 100 type of thing. Some months ago, Mayor Eastridwell began clearing land in the force of Ludlow to prepare for settlement. Trees are uprooted, paths are cut, and ground is swaled. He's now written Steward Charles to request that levy duties be reduced. Um, I 
Okay, we'll do that. I think we'll be okay for a little while. Oh, my daughter has come of age, and we also have two people from which we can demand payments. So let's just go ahead and do that. We can always use the extra funds. A faction has been created against me, Anglo-Saxon, a styro populace. So once again, that shows why it's important that we convert these folks so that they're no longer rising against me. Uh, where's my last daughter? There she is. She is not currently married. High Chieftain of Moray. He's Gaelic. I don't know if that's the way we should go. How about Alliance Power? Yeah, I guess he kind of fits that bill too. All right, let's do it. So the, one of the troubles I'm seeing with the possibility of expanding into Ireland is almost all of Ireland is currently ruled by uh, foreign kingdoms, all of which are pretty powerful. Sweden, White Rus, uh, we've got the Yaldrum of Yildand. So there's a lot of those there. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. I lost 15. That's not too bad. We need a new chancellor. Man, none of these look too good. Recruit this one to court. There we go. To the benevolent King Howell of Wales, I call on your honor on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Moravian claim on the Earldom of Inverness. So that's up in Scotland. All right. I accept. So that's Inverness is up here in northern Scotland, isn't it? Yep, right here. Yeah, I'm not sure how likely I am to get involved in that one, but we'll at least commit to it. My spy master has come to me with grave news. We do not yet know who. Someone is plotting to kill my guest. We must stop the villain behind this. All right, let's go to Intrigue. All right, it must not be under Intrigue. It must be in Factions. Nope. Man. I guess we'll have to get our spy master looking into that a little more. We've got 358 gold. I'm wondering if there's something I can build. Farms and fields. That'll add to tax income. That's actually a really nice increase for a relatively small investment. I think that's definitely worth it. All these can go all the way to level 8. Wow. Okay, cool. Upgrading that. Oh, we're already constructing in this barony. You can't construct more than once in the same barony. How about guild halls? What does that take us to? Yeah, let's look for other additions in some of these other places. Pastoral lands it is. All right, so a couple of improvements that are going to help us long term. All right, we can see some things happening now. You can see Ireland is slowly being taken over by other folks. We're going to have to get involved sooner rather than later. All right, let's raise our armies. Go ahead and help with this war. Send them up to Inverness. It's quite a journey to go on. Seems like it's going pretty well at the moment. Doesn't really appear to be anywhere else that we can even do anything, so I guess we'll send them home. We can at least say we did something. We sent the troops. All right. The Astaru populace are starting another war. Two years. I just sent the troops. Oh, my goodness. This chest of gold should help. Um, I apologize. I'm sorry, I guess. But now I've got my own war to deal with, so I can't really do much for you. Thankfully, we've got a decent amount of troops. We can go deal with these guys. Don't you run. He's got 2300 now? Oh my goodness. That's bad. Yes. 
My knight Ramadan has been wounded and the injury runs deep. I fear that his body is not strong enough to fight this on its own. I feel death lingering by his bedside. Wow, this is bad. We're about to lose this battle. Oh, and one of my children was killed. No, not Prince John. Oh, boy. And Thomas as well? Two of my children killed in a stupid uprising. Wow, that's bad. That's really bad. I do still have one son. Who's a callous knave, by the way. <laughs> oh my goodness. And my brother's a bishop. I didn't realize that. He's a rapacious blackguard, but he's a bishop. Oh man, that was brutal. Alright, we've got to call somebody. I should have done this to begin with. Called allies. To the war. Okay. Help me out, boys. We're going to go deal with these guys again. Oh, the Welsh uprising ended. The faction targeting me has disbanded. Now that they killed two of my sons. Oh, so brutal. That was rough. Okay, we've now got the sell titles decision available to us. And we're working toward avaricious. Interesting. We've also got an empty council position. We need, need a new marshal. Not any really good choices at the moment. Available dynasty legacy. All right. House of Warriors. That gives us prowess and knight effectiveness. Law. Popular opinion. Dread gain. Noble veins. Vibrant Court. Oh, we should probably pause while this is happening. Desirable Match. Marriage Exceptions, 30%, or plus 30. Fertility, Bounteous Loins. <laughs> uh, House of Warriors it is. Excellent. Lively Livestock. Dyfed will prosper from the herd. Yeah, let's do that. My counselor died. Man. Empty council positions left and right. Avaricious. All right. So now I think we're going to... I mean, I'm old, right? I'm not going to be around much longer. But how about learning? How old am I? I'm 63. Man, that's like ancient in the 10th century. Oh, so my daughter, who was previously married to Duke Phillips of Holland, uh, apparently he must have died or something, because uh, she has now remarried uh, to Klaus Meierstzun Billung. Um, so he's a courtier and... Uh, also Dutch. I guess she's staying there. She's a treacherous villain, so I shouldn't be surprised. She does have a child, though, who is now the Duke. Uh, my grandson is Duke Arnulf of Holland. So that's that's actually a good thing, I think. We're going to go ahead and wrap it up right there. I think we're probably right near the end of King Howell's life, but we've accomplished the task of King of Wales. So my question that I'm going to pose to the council, and this will be posted over on uh, Patreon for all the patrons uh, who are part of my War Council for games like this. But you can also leave a comment section below. Uh, but the War Council on Patreon will be binding whatever they vote for. If, if it's uh, in favor of one thing, then that's what we'll do. Uh, should we focus on building the Kingdom of Wales? Uh, internal focus, building up infrastructure, saving our money for things. We're gaining five gold per turn right, er, per month right now. Or should we be looking to expand 
uh, and go after territory in Ireland as it's being gobbled up by all of the uh, other nobles right now. So those are, that's the question. You guys let me know your thoughts, or if you have another idea, use the comment section below. I'm going to post this over on Patreon right now, and we will see you again in a couple of days with another, another episode. Thanks for watching.